Welcome everyone to JavaScript Programming Language Course for Beginners. This video is an introduction to JavaScript. You'll also see the source and reference for this video. I hope you'll be able to follow along this entire JavaScript course. Coming up next are the ESL. As you watch this video, please bear in mind about our ESLRs. And these are right thought, right communication, right attitude, right conduct, and right lifestyle. This video is the second part of section 1.2, and it focuses on a common and simple local server configuration, which will help you get started setting up your own. To start this particular lesson, we need to open the installation folder of map server so we need to locate the map icon the map application is located in applications folder map folder then map icon if you're using windows at home then map icon is located in drive c map folder then you'll see the map application icon in order to run MAMP application, we need to double click that file. If you're using Mac OS, the other way to run MAMP application is by clicking the launchpad, then choose MAMP. So here we'll start the server by clicking on Start Servers to be able to run the Apache and MySQL server. So once the servers start running, then Apache and MySQL server indicators will turn green. In the next slide, we'll locate the htdocs folder. I believe you are familiar with this folder. The local drive installation folder matches the location in the document root from Apache server. So inside htdocs, we need to create folders and we'll add the JS folder as you can see from there. And inside of JS folder or the shortcut for JavaScript, you need to add folders chapters one to five as you can see from there. So that should be chapter underscore one up to five. So let's try this out. Go to your Google Chrome, then in the search bar, type localhost colon 8888, then press enter key. In the localhost 8888 index of JS, this is represented by the JavaScript folder, as you can see in red circles. And these are the folders we created inside of HCDocs, the JS and the chapters 1 to 5. We are going to save our JavaScript files in these folders. So please take note where you, we created those folders from chapters 1 to 5. So it's generally a good idea to run a local server rather than running our HTML files into a browser. It is more consistent when we work with a local server. Our local server has been set up completely. So let's make sure that the path is set to a folder where our example files are. Take note of those encircled in red. That should be the location for our files. So a local server has been set up. In this lesson, we were able to configure that one. In the next video, we will learn about configuring the workspace. So for our class activity, we will use the internet to search and read more about the local server configuration. 
Before I will end this video, I hope that you learned something about local server configuration. Thank you for watching this video.